Hey welcome back to a new video, how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. So today I'm actually going to make a rhubarb crumble. It's Father's Day today so I thought I might as well make one for Liam's dad since we're going to go round to see him. He actually gave us this rhubarb from his garden last week so it actually needs using up as well so it's a great excuse to actually make a crumble. Plus I've always wanted to actually make, use the Omni oven that we've got down on the floor down there to actually make a cake or do some baking in the van so it'll actually be a good test to see how well it does in there. First things first I need to peel the rhubarb and then cut it down into thumb sized pieces. So now that I've cut all the rhubarb down into pieces, just need to add it to a saucepan with 100 grams of sugar and let it sweat down for about 15 minutes. So while the rhubarb's sweating down over there, I'm going to quickly get on with the uh, crumble topping. Literally all you need is sugar, flour and some butter so it's really easy to make. So my rhubarb's all sweated down now nicely. All I've got to do is actually just put it into the Omnia oven. I don't really know how long it's going to take. Usually it takes about half an hour in the oven, but I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it and we'll know it's ready when it's golden on top. Now it's just a waiting game to see how it actually turns out but while that's cooking I'm gonna get on with the washing up. I've had it cooking for about half an hour but I'm not really know what I think about it to be honest. It's not really gone as golden as I thought and it's gone a bit soggy. I don't know if it's just the liquid underneath that's just there was just too much liquid underneath and that's what's caused it. We've only used the Omni oven a couple of times so far in the van and we have actually noticed that it doesn't actually brown as well on top. I don't know if that's just one of the things with the Omni oven I'm guessing it probably is so I'm guessing that's maybe why it's not gone so brown. It's been off the heat for about 10 minutes now and it does seem to have thickened up a little bit so we are going to leave it for probably about half an hour because we are going to trake it to melt and so it needs to kind of be a bit cool enough to be able to travel so hopefully it thickens up a bit by then too. Let it cool and it looks a lot better it's not so watery anymore but as we were letting it cool we literally had thunderstorms and it chucked it down with rain he actually said it wasn't supposed to rain today so we've been holding off going to Liam's parents but it seems to have uh, calmed down a bit now it's about half five now so we're going to head over there so we're hoping the rain actually holds off that we can actually eat it in the garden with them if it does start raining again though we'll just have to leave them a piece and then we'll have to come back here and eat ours in the van so now it's actually trying time to test it we've put it with some custard um it is very hot so hopefully i don't burn my mouth so uh <laughs> let's give it a go it smells all right to be fair I'm gonna burn my mouth on that. Hmm. It just tastes like a normal rhubarb crumble, so the omni oven cooks it alright. The only thing I'd say is just not as crispy on top in it, but other yeah, than definitely. That, yeah, I was gonna say that the crumble on top's a bit more like cakey. Yeah, but it's cooked, it's just not crispy, like you don't get a crispy yes. layer on top. But other than that, it's perfectly fine, so I'd definitely recommend trying this out if you've got an omni oven. And it tastes good too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so back from my dad's now it was nice actually seeing my father father's day and spending a bit of time with him we all actually really enjoyed the rhubarb crumble so if you're actually interested in trying it out definitely give it a go um, and we'd definitely recommend the omni oven as well we haven't used it as much as we thought we would at the minute um, but now we're obviously starting to experiment with it a bit more and we're actually seeing that it just cooks like a normal oven really it just doesn't quite brown on top like a normal oven but apart from that it cooks everything fine um, we've got a few more things we want to actually test out in it as well stay tuned for that but for this video that's it so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow